Okay. Choose the font you want to work with. And the key to getting everything to print out is one is your letter spacing. So you can come up here to where it says letter spacing and just draw everything together where it touches. No gaps. Everything is touching. Do that first. And then you do your offset and come up here at the top. Do your offset how however you like and apply. That way everything will cut as you need it, as one piece. You could have did your letters individually and placed them together. Because say you got this K and you don't really like it, but you like everything else. So you want to do a different K. You can do it individually and then slide it to make sure it touches. And I have a video already in the group showing you how to do the eye. To make the eye touch. You can, how to, you know, you can cut this part off and slide it down to touch. Or you can put a piece in here and weld it to touch. So you do all that before you um, you slide all your text together before you do your outline, and then size it, and then do your layering and cut it how you like. I hope that helps. Okay, after you've done your offset up here. You got the size you want and the size you need then you'll want to make sure you go ahead and slide this on top if it's not if you don't already have it on top if it's already on top just leave it so let's say the earrings you're working with you want to measure the widest part of the earrings if you're using bamboo or plain hoops you want to use measure in the middle or the widest part from side to side so let's say the earrings you're working with are size um, three inch You'll only change your width. You can change your width to three inches. You could change your height too if this was a longer name. If it was, you know, let's say if you had three or four more letters and it was longer, then you can you can unlock up here and change the height too. That's totally up to you. But if it's a shorter name like like my name, then you could just change the width. So Again, you're working with three inch earrings. You want to go ahead and get that size two, three inches. And you see that fits from there to there. That's three inches. And yes, on the computer, you'll be like, oh, that looks tiny, but it's okay. Just trust it. So you got that situated. Now you're going to, you can use four to six layers of cardstock. You can use white cardstock, black cardstock any colored card stock you use whatever you like so for the let's say we're making earrings with this image right now we're just going to do the um, nameplate for the earrings the this gray part is your name layer the black part is your shadow layer okay we're going to make these we're going to duplicate these and then we're just going to cut Let's group this together for now and cut that off because we're going to come back and use that later. So, okay, for your shadow, we can cut this one off for now too. For your shadow, let's say you're, you need you need four of these. You need two for the front and two for a uh, back piece that's for um, both earrings so you need a second copy of it in this um, direction and then you'll need to duplicate these and you'll need to horizontal flip them Come up to the top and flip horizontally so and we're going to turn them gold because let's say you're going to use gold for the um, background pieces and silver for the top pieces. So, okay, you have these for your um, shadow part. So you want to go ahead and hit make and load your mat up with gold foil. Now you could do this in glitter. You could do this in any color cardstock. You, whatever you want to do it in. Color cardstock, glitter cardstock, foil cardstocks. Um, holographic card stocks you can use vinyl you can use whatever you want to use 
for this. So you just load your mat up and cut it out just like this. You need two facing the correct way and two in the reverse or in the horizontal flipped way. So I'm going to group these for now. After you get those cut, then you will need to come back and let's turn on your name layer. I think that one's grouped. Okay, so now let's turn on your name layer. And this layer and for mine is going to be um, silver glitter. So I want to make a duplicate because you'll need two because you're making earrings. And then I'm going to just group them together. And then I'm going to hit make. And then I'm going to load my mat with glitter cardstock, silver glitter cardstock. And I'm going to cut these two out of that. So then I want to come back. Now I need my, my layers to build it up. So with this, I'm going to, I'm just going to say I'm using black cardstock. So I'm just going to make both of them black so you can understand that. That is what's going on with these two pieces. So each earring, you're going to, um, the cardstock that you want to use is, um, you need to make sure it's 110 pounds. You can use black, white, whatever color you want to use for cardstock. Just make sure it is 110 pound cardstock. Nothing lower than that because you will have to use many more layers. So let's say for each earring, I mean, yeah, for each earring, I'm going to use, let's slide this over for now. Let's say for each earring, I'm going to use six layers or four layers per earring because the thicker you make it, the sturdier it is, but also the heavier it is on the ear. So for these nameplates, let's say I'm going to use four. four layers so I want to make four of the, let's group I'm gonna group I want to make eight of these actually because um you're making it for two earrings so and keep in mind that the size of the um, cardstock you're going to be working with is eight and a half by eleven. So for that you can get you can get all eight of them on the um on one sheet of cardstock. So that that is the the eight layers and that is for two earrings. Now to um, build this part you let's say you're gonna use three three of these or maybe yeah, we'll say three for now. So you need six of these. So you want to duplicate that. And group it. I'm just going to duplicate. You don't have to do all the grouping. I'm just doing it so it stays all together. I don't do any mess ups. So I'm going to duplicate again. So that all of this can fit. Long as you, if it's 2.5 to 3 three three four five maybe three five i'm not sure i can't remember but for 2.5 just depending on how the name is, you could use one sheet for to do the whole project of cardstock for um your layers so anyway so we're gonna we say we're gonna use three of these to build it up so then you just have all this together and you wanna i um so mine does not move and it stays the way i set it up I um, group them, well not group them, I attach them. And then I hit make. And then on, and then I load my mat up with a 110 pound black cardstock. And then I cut all of this out of that one sheet of cardstock. Okay. Now let's cut that off and let's cut the let's cut everything. I'm cut everything back on and I'm gonna um ungroup everything so I can show you the way explain to you the build. So again, I said we're gonna do four layers per earring so 
Let's ungroup. And let's ungroup all of this. So now, to start your build, you're going to use Mod Podge to glue these four layers together. Four layers of cardstock. So you just glue one on top of the other one. Just glue one on top of the other one. That's it. Then take one of your gold foil pieces and this will glue to the top of these. It'll all stack up neatly. And then this will glue to the back of these. Don't worry about it on screen. It looks backwards, but in person it is printed just like this. But when you flip it over, the gold will show perfectly on the back of these. So that will be go to the back of this. Then you will take these three. Let's move them to the front. And then you will stack, start my podge in them. You'll my podge them together first. And then you will my podge it to the top of, of your gold. I'm going to cut this one off so you don't get confused by it sticking back there at the back. So then you'll glue those to their name layer, layer, black layers on top of your gold foil. And then you'll glue your glitter piece to the front. And once that's all dry, then you'll take and um, put your resin on and then you'll glue it to the earring right across the middle of the earring. And then you start... Then you start building the second one. You could build them both together at the same time, but this is just me explaining you, to you what you would do. That is all to the um, layered method nameplate. Now for I have a video showing you how to do the character part so that is already posted on my YouTube if you'll just go find that then you'll see how to do the character and how to do a necklace is this it's the same thing it's just a few more steps how to add the um, loops and how to add the actual character I hope this helps So I noticed my um, character necklace video has, is just um, for Pixlr and that's for people who don't have um, uh, Cricut or or they don't know how to use the off that was before Cricut got the offset feature feature so that was for people who did not use the computer they could use they could go on their iPads or the tablets to use Pixlr to do offset but now that Cricut um, has incorporated that I should do it in here so this is what this video is about I'm going to show you how to do the character and and a necklace at the same time now this can you can do this for the earrings or whatever just don't add the loops so I'm going to just be using what I've already started with here so I'm just going to select all that and copy it and then what I want to do with all of this is group it and just cut that off so I can start fresh and I'm going to edit and or control and paste so I can paste all that back so with that being said I'm just going to copy one of these duplicate one of these Let's say my earrings were is still three inches. I'm going to leave all that there. And I'm going to group it and shut that off as well. So now let's say you're doing a necklace and you want 
the necklace to be about four inches that's a pretty decent sized necklace I don't I don't do any small ones so um what I can tell you is that anything two inches will be small two one and a half two inches two and a half inches it will be a decent size necklace if you're um going to be making it for children or some people just like small small stuff so that the, this is that's going to be preference most of my necklaces if i'm making it for a set they are n none of them are under four inches none of them i haven't made one under that to date so let's keep that in consideration and we're just going to make this a color so you can see what i'm doing okay so let's say you're going to do a four inch or four and a half inch necklace whatever whatever you decide i'm just going to make this one a four and a half up here 4.5 enter okay and then i'm going to grab a circle shape And I'm going to place it about there. And I'm going to make a duplicate of that. And just make sure it's on top. And then slide it over to about there. You want to make sure it is touching these pretty good. But you want to make sure it's on top before you move it over. And then you just grab the both of them let's make a duplicate of this before we do make a duplicate so grab you have to do two well, let's see i think we can do it all grab all of that and then hit weld that makes it one so then with this circle you want to make it white and you're going to move it to the front make it smaller Center it up with that circle. As best you can. Make a duplicate. I think I want it a little bit smaller, so I'll make it a little bit smaller. Because I like my rings to be just a little thick, not too thin. Because if you have them too thin, they tend to want to crack or break or... It's just, I, I don't like it thin like that. So make a duplicate. Place it on top. And then just slide it over. Just hit your um, arrow keys to slide it. Don't try to slide it manually because you'll, you will move it up too far or down too far. So with that, then you'll select, you have to select two at a time. You can't select the whole thing. So you just select this white circle and this black piece and then hit slice. Delete. Delete. Then even though you can't see it, it's behind here. Let me bring it to the front. Select these two and hit slice. Do that and then do that now you have your piece for your necklace and it is the same way you'll for the necklace you might want six layers that makes it pretty sturdy so you'll do you'll make six of those and let's say all of these you maybe you're doing gold and so this um now, now this shouldn't be gold these are black this is gold so you'll need two of these so you make another duplicate of that and then you'll take this one and you're going to horizontal flip it so now this attaches to these six and this will be behind all of that so when you stack it all together 
and this maybe you're gonna do silver again out so it's going with the earrings I the earring setup I just did and you still want maybe three of these So duplicate and you'll make those black and then this goes to the front. So you're following the same steps I just showed you for the earrings. You're just adding the loops for the necklace. So again, all of these will stack to each other. So all of that will stack. You will stack it neatly. I'm just doing it quick online. I mean on the um, computer screen. So then that will stack to those. Of course your holes will be lined up. Everything you'll be able to see. This is just for purposes of showing you. So this would go to the back. So it's going to be back there. And then these will glue to the front. And you have your pieces for your necklace. Now, to do the character, you're going to have to um, bring in your, bring in a PNG file. That means you want to make sure the background is already, um, make sure it already has a transparent background. Oh, we won't need these. We will just need one for now because we can get rid of these. This is for the character. This is plain necklace. I have um, videos showing you how to attach scrolls so you can look at YouTube for that as well. And that is in Cricut. So let me go grab the character image. So when you bring your PNG in, make sure you choose complex and hit continue. Continue. Make sure it has no background. And then you want to hit print then cut and hit upload. Upload, select it and insert it into your project. It's going to come in because it's a huge picture. So you want to go ahead and size it down some so you can work with it. I'm just going to make it small real quick. And I'm going to make a duplicate and I'm going to turn the main one off. I'm going to grab a shape. Well, you can grab a shape and cut it if you don't want all of this or you can use it like it is. So let's say I'm going to use I'm going to let Tweety live here. Now what I will do is add an offset to Tweety. Let me zoom in some. I'm not changing his size anymore. Maybe I, maybe I will. Let's see if I go down just a little bit. And maybe I want Twitty to live here on the necklace. Okay, maybe that's what I want it to look like. So, now I need to make a duplicate because I changed his size. And then I'm going to cut that one off. The duplicate off. And now I'm going to take this and first let me add the offset. I need to add just a simple little offset to this. I don't want it too big. Okay. I'm going to apply that. So now, I've added the offset. I can move Tweety over. Select both of these and weld. Now this is my base. Now you can have that white 
I mean, gold, whatever color you want. It's the same concept. You need to start building your um, pieces. So I'll make a duplicate of that, and then I will flip it. So I'm say I'm using gold foil. So for the necklace, I will need the front piece and the back piece. Then you'll duplicate this piece. Now let's say you could, this is going to be black and you need six of those. You already know. So now this one moves to the front. This one moves to the back. This is just on screen. So you can see. So this will glue to the top of these. These, this will glue to the back. You will, all of this you will cut off so you can um, print and cut your Tweety. So you print and cut your Tweety out. And I like to use Epson presentation paper. It is the best paper in matte. So you print and cut your Tweety. Then you, your Tweety will glue to the top, send to the front. So your Tweety will glue to the top in place. And then you will start to glue these pieces. in place and that is how you will do this character necklace it's the same setup it's just a few different steps with this printing cut piece that you will add to it i hope this helps the, if you want to do earrings you do the same thing um the same steps but you just don't add the loops that's it you can rewind and pause this as many times as you need to get this. But it's just this simple to get it worked out. Hope this helps.